Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create custom compliance policy in Microsoft Intune. Custom compliance settings enable the IT administrator to basically check for anything and to use that for the compliance state of the device. The IT administrator can use PowerShell script in the custom compliance setting to verify the status of anything that is available on the device. The results can be compared to rules and values that are configured in a JSON file. The result of that comparison can be used as a part of the compliance policy. This video is on how we can set up a custom device compliance policy to check TPM chip is present on the device or not. If TPM chip is not available on the device, then this custom compliance policy will mark the device as a not compliant device. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Device Compliance. Before we can add custom settings to a policy, we will need to prepare a JSON file and a detection script. Both the script and JSON file become part of the compliance policy. Each compliance policy supports a single script and each script can detect multiple settings. Scripts are specific to different platforms and delivered to devices through the compliance policy. Windows uses a PowerShell script and Linux uses a shell script. The scripts must be uploaded to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center before we can create a compliance policy. In the first step, we will upload the script to Intune portal. For that, click on Scripts. Click on Add and select Windows 10 and Later. On the Basics page, specify a name for a custom script. We have given name Taste TPM Chip PowerShell Script. Optionally, type a description and publisher information. Let me click on Next. In Detection Script, we need to type or paste the PowerShell script. Let's copy the script. In Notepad, already I have typed the script which we want to use in this video. Let me copy the script from here. Let's go back to Engine Portal and let's paste here. Click on Allow. Perfect. Here we have several other options related to how the script will run on client computer. Make sure No is selected to run the PowerShell script in system context. Select No for Enforce script signature check setting to perform a signature check on the PowerShell script. For this setting, select Yes to run the PowerShell script in 64-bit mode. So basically, you do not need to change anything here. Click on Next. On Review plus Create page, verify the configuration of the PowerShell script. Click on Create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see the confirmation message, Custom script successfully created. Once the PowerShell script is uploaded, it can be edited via Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We just need to click on Script and start editing it. Click on Edit Settings. And from here, we can edit our existing custom script. Let's close the page. The second step 
is to create a JSON file that will be used to define the settings that the device compliance policy should verify and the acceptable values for those settings. It even contains the options to configure a message that will tell the user what to do when the device is not compliant with the custom compliance setting. This is an example of JSON file that check the status of TPM chip on the device. When policy is evaluated, the script detects the settings from the JSON file and then reports the results to Intune. We have saved this JSON file on our computer with the name TPM check JSON. In the third step, we will create a device custom compliance policy using uploaded script and the sample JSON file. Let's go back to Intune portal. Click on Policies. Click on Create Policy Plus icon. Under Platform, select Windows 10 and Later. Click on Create. On the basic step, we have given name Taste Custom Compliance Policy. Description is optional. Select Next. On the Compliance Settings page, click on the Custom Compliance section. Select Require for Custom Compliance setting. We need to select the discovery script which we have uploaded in the first step. Click on Click to select a link. Click on our TPM check script. Click on Select. Next. We need to upload a JSON file we created earlier in second step. Click on Browse. Select tpmcheck.json file and click on Open. If our JSON file is formatted properly, it will pull the setting names, operators and values so we can see them. Here we can see the data of our JSON file. Click on Next. On the Actions for Non-Compliance page, leave the default configuration of an action on Mark Device Non-Compliant with Scheduled on Immediately. If you want to add another action for non-compliance, you can select it from here. Click on Next. On the Assignments page, configure the assignment by selecting the applicable group. Under Included Groups, click on Add Groups. For testing purpose, we will apply this policy on our test device group named TestWin Client. From the list, select TestWin Client Group. Click on Select. We have one device in our TestWin Client Group. Click Next. On the Review plus Create page, review the configuration. Click on Create and wait for the confirmation. We can see the confirmation message, Profile created successfully. On the monitor, click on Device Status. Click on Refresh. We have to wait for a few seconds for devices to appear. Let's again click on Refresh. Now, we can see a Windows 10 device is listed with not evaluated compliance status. Once assigned, we can wait for the device to evaluate compliance or we can force it using manual sync. Click on device name. On overview page, click on sync so it will forcefully speed up the policy evaluation. Click on yes to continue. We can see confirmation message Sync Initiated. Under Monitor, click on Device Compliance. Still, state is not evaluated for our compliance policy. Let's click on Devices. Click on All Devices. And let's check the status of our Lab Win 10 CLI01 device. Click on Refresh. We can see a device lab win 10 CLI01 with the compliance status compliant. 
and the monitor again click on device compliance still state is not evaluated for our compliance policy we don't have the tpm chip present on our vm so we are expecting not compliant status for this device we need to wait for the evaluation to complete so i'm going to pause the recording and once the policy is evaluated i'll resume it after waiting for around 10 minutes policy state is changed to not compliant but for that i have performed several manual sync on our test device and restarted the device once as expected device status is not compliant we can see the custom compliance policy state is now changed to not compliant click on policy name we can see the tpm check setting is not compliant if tpm chip is present and enabled on the device then this setting will be compliant let's click on endpoint security under manage click on device compliance click on our custom compliance policy on the monitor click on device status and from this policy we can also confirm that compliance status for our device is not compliant so we can say the custom compliance policy is successfully applied on our device and working as expected in our test environment that's all for this video on how to create a custom compliance policy in microsoft intune thank you all for watching this video Have a nice day.